in this screencast, we want to show users how to do a particular thing using the IntelliJ IDEA IDEs um, rather than showcasing a specific feature. I, I'm Trisha G. I generally tend to work with IntelliJ IDEA, and I'm here with Gary. Hello, I work with uh, PHP Storm. And um, what we want to do today is we want to take a look at some things you might want to achieve with your version control system, for example, Git. Yes, so thank you, Trisha. So I, I have a problem here in that I've checked out uh, the develop branch from an open source project. This is the service manager from Zen Framework 3. And what I was doing, I was in the uh, in the middle of doing a huge job where I am upgrading this uh, PHP project to be PHP 7 compatible. Uh, but there's a problem because right in the middle of me doing this work, a really important bug issue has been logged, which I really need to fix quickly. Um, and like the um, idiot that I am, I've just worked off the develop branch. So what I need to do here is to kind of keep these changes somewhere, but reset my environment back to the develop branch so I can fix this bug. So Trisha, you can help me, I, I believe. I can help you, yes. So when, when you see the white background on the screen, this is me working with IntelliJ IDEA and Java. Um, in the black background, that's Gary working with PHP Storm and PHP. Uh, so here in IntelliJ IDEA, which is obviously more or less the same as uh, PHP Storm, I've got, if I open up my version control window, I'm in the middle of doing some stuff as well. So here I've got red squiggly lines because I'm working with Java and I've got some code that doesn't compile. Um, and what I want to do is, uh, as Gary says, I want to kind of get rid of this work and then switch to a different branch or reset to a specific commit. Now, the way there's a couple of different ways of doing this. So the first way that I would normally do this is I would shelve these changes because in the Java world, because things aren't committing, things aren't um, compiling and the tests aren't running, I don't really want to commit something that's that's not working. So I'm going to shelve those changes. I'm going to call it work in progress and you know some useful descriptive title. So I shelve those changes. I end up on the shelf tab and you can see in here, those changes are here. And my local changes, I'm kind of, I'm back to normal. And if I go to the log, I was on this new branch and I can really safely switch to the master branch and make some other changes if, if that's what I want to do. Okay, cool. That looks like it would be exactly what I need. So if we switch back to my screen here, if I go to the version control tab, you can see that I have a ton of changes. Um, I'm not sure if this passes the test or not. I haven't even got to that stage yet. So you said I can right click here and shelve changes. There you go. Okay, so yeah, I've got a decent commit message, work in process, untested conversion PB7. Great, I can shelve that. Okay, cool. Now, because I am, oh, that's interesting. Because I am already on the develop branch, I didn't have a new branch like you assume that this is reverted. Yes, it's reverted back to type. So excellent, I'm right where I need to be to start working on that horrible bug I need to fix. The only thing I would say here is that if somebody else wanted to pick up my work uh, from where I left off, I guess it wouldn't be possible with the the shelf um, built-in shelf because that's a PHP Storm feature and not a Git feature, right? Right, that's exactly right. So the shelf feature is is from within the IDE and it's stored locally on your local machine. Um, there is an option to turn that into a patch if you right click on that. You can right click and you can create patch and then you can email that if you want to. But of course, what's the point in using a, a version control system if you're just going to start emailing patches around? So um, I can show you another alternative way if you want to if you want to kind of put these on a separate branch and then um, and then allow someone else to work on it. Okay, so um, if I go back to where I was, go back to the state where I was, I was on a new branch. That was the branch where my changes were, well, where I wanted to make those changes. And I can safely unshelve my changes here, back onto the new branch. Uh, I'm selecting the default change list because that's where I want all my changes to go. And then when I go back here, you can see my changes are back on there. So that's effectively reverted you back to where you were at the beginning of this video, right? Yeah, that okay. takes me back to the start. I'm cool. on new branch and I've got my changes here. So the alternative way of um, moving these changes out of the way so that I can switch to a different branch or reset to a, a different commit 
So here are the changes that I've made and what I want to do is I want to commit these and push them so that someone else can get access to them if they want. So I'm going to commit these changes, give it a useful commit message and commit and push. And I can see the changes which are going to be pushed up to origin. Okay, cool. So assuming your origin is a GitHub or somewhere. So yeah, there you go. Push successful. Push successful. And now we can see we've moved up there. And if I wanted to now, I can switch back to master and make whatever changes I need to do on master. Oh, okay. And now you've gone right back to the, the place where master is because those are committed. Um, Git or your ID doesn't give you any warnings about losing changes because everything's available to everything's you. Everything's so exactly. Cool, sweet. So I guess I should try and do that myself then. In order for me to get back to where we were at the beginning of this video, I need to unshelve these shelved changes, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so if you click on where it says name, you might want to put that onto the default yeah, change let's list. Let's put it into the default change list so that we don't uh, have anything weird going on. And you can see the ton of changes I've done here which looks good. So that's been successfully applied. You can see I've got a ton of changes again. So because I'm naughty, the first thing I need to do is to create a new branch because I've been working on develop, which I really don't want to push my temporary changes on to develop. So let's call it um, uh, PHP 7 uh, compact. That will do for a branch name. Okay, so I've checked out a new branch. Now I need to commit and push to this branch, right? Right. So command K for my commit log, uh, work in progress, untested conversion to PHP 7. That's good. So commit and push down here. Now, PHP Storm is telling me that, that there's like some problems with my file. This is because this is a work in progress. So in a normal environment where I was pushing um, or committing, I would obviously want to review these changes in this in environment. Because it is a work in progress, that's not too much of a problem. Uh, this looks good. All those hundreds of files that I've been touched, that's great. So let's push those up. The magic is happening and that looks good. So assuming now I can check out develop and go back to where I was. Excellent. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Trish. No problem at all. So hopefully today we've we've covered um, how to switch to a different branch or how to save all the changes you're in the middle of and switch to some other work without losing all your changes. Indeed. Thank you very much. And hopefully we'll um, do some more of these in the future. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.